hurt him early and, and really stop the takedowns and uh, it, it worked out. It worked in my favor. I landed a nice clean left hand on him and hurt him and then just picked some clean shots from there and, uh, and put him away early. Talk to me about the left hand because you hit him with one that hurt him but you landed eight to ten left hands consecutively. <laughs> it seemed like he was trying to block the right not realizing it was the left that was doing pretty much the majority of the damage. Walk me through the stoppage and really the efficacy of your left hand. Yeah, I, I found my range early. I hit him with a stiff jab right off the bat, and I could see something change in him. And uh, his corner called out for jabs, and I, they were just coming up short. I was just much longer of a fighter. And uh, I, I landed a couple of those jabs, and I knew my left was going to be wide open in a second. And I threw it right down the middle, landed right on the chin. And, and that's what dropped him. He worked up fast, and uh, I knew he was hurt, but he seemed to be recovering very fast. So I, I was throwing some rights and just trying to find the open shots until I could, I could hit a short little left on him. Hurt him again with the left, and then uh, I was just looking for the clean shot, and it, it ended up being my left hand a lot. I was just throwing the same side, uh, different angles. You know, I had a little uppercut, a little overhand, and uh, as soon as he uh, faced me, it was I just found the opening every time, and uh, it did what it needed to do.